guys. Oh, it's happening. Quizney is about to start, guys. Make sure you uh have your snacks, your water, everything. Have you been to the bathroom? Have you been to the bathroom? Huh? Have you used it? Have you used it? Because we are about to start, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Let's go. What's up? I'm Isaac Ryan Brown from Raven's Home on Disney Channel, and this is Quiz Me. Today we've got a very special episode all about... Disney twins, like us. Uh, we, we are not twins, Albert. Maybe not identical twins, but fraternal? Nope, still not twins. Great friends. Sure, great friends. Cool. Catch you later, my twin-like great friend. <laughs> <laughs> Albert Sai from Coop and Kimmy asks the world. Love that show, love that guy. A few Quizney tips before we start. Be sure to turn your sound up so you can hear the question prompts and any clips we play. Also, answer as soon as you think you know it. The faster you answer correctly, the more points you get. So, who's ready for a double Quizney fun? Question one. This one's a complete the lyrics. We're gonna play a portion of a song from the 20th of twin shows, Disney Channel's Live in Maddie. But halfway through, We'll stop the clip, and you'll have to pick the answer that completes the lyrics. Got Oh, <laughs> the quizzy clock starts now. What is the next line of the Live and Maddie theme song? Is it a sweet harmony or solo, worse in mono, bingo was his name -o, or better in stereo? I don't know about you, but I never skip the theme song when I watch my favorite shows. They're all catchy. I mean, that's a Raven in Montana. Check it. All right, let's see the answer. The next line in the Live and Maddie theme song is better in stereo. Whoa, let's see the full clip. We both know we're better in stereo. If question one had a twin, it'd be question two. The Quizney clock starts now. Which of these Disney Channel sibling pairs are not twins? Is it Harley and Ethan, Nia and Booker, Mabel and Dipper, or Zach and Cody? Remember, we're looking for the pair that are not twins, just siblings. Miss, cutting it close, miss, cutting it close, man. All right, let's see which pair it is. They may be best friends in the family, but they're definitely not twins. The correct answer is hardly anything. All right, question three. The Quizney clock starts now. What are the names of the two-headed twins at Monsters University? Is it Barry and Barry, Joy and Sadness, Terry and Terry, or Mike and Sully. Remember, get those answers locked in as soon as possible. The quicker you get a correct answer in, the more points you get. And the more points you get, the better your chances to win. You get that money. All right, let's see the answer. The two-headed twins at Monsters University are Terry and Terry. They see two heads are better than one, but you know what's even better than that? <laughs> Question four. The Quizzy Clock starts now. On Gravity Falls, what does Mabel call herself after learning she's taller than Dipper? Is it Twin Call, Alpha Twin, Giganta Twin, or the Twin Credible Hulk? Twins are very competitive. If you don't believe me, watch my character Booker and his twin sister Nia on Raven's Home. We fight over everything. All right, let's see the answer. Mabel calls herself the Alpha Twin. Now. Mabel and Dipper are fraternal twins, which is different from identical twins, and very different from Mabel's rumored doppelganger, LaBam. I've, I've told you too much. Let's move on to question five. 
Now this next twins question comes from a Jesse Halloween episode. The Quizney clock starts now. What do the spooky twins from the 13th floor turn out to be? Are they quadruplets, ghosts, mirror reflections, or famous child actors? If I had a twin, I'd dress up as him for Halloween. I wouldn't even have to buy a mask. It's the perfect costume. And cheap, too. Saving money on candy. All right, let's see the answer. The spooky twin turns out to be spooky quadruplets. Just two questions left. Let's do this. Question six. This one is a uh, don't blink. We'll show you a picture from Disney Pixar's Coco for a few seconds. Remember every little detail, because as soon as it goes away, I'll have to answer a question about it. Are you ready? Cool. Don't blink. Ah, ah. Now, I hope you paid attention, because the Quizney clock starts now. In the image from Coco, Tio Oscar and Tio Felipe both wear what? Is it bow ties? aprons, leather jackets, or yoga pants. I'd love to give you a hint, but uh, I've got a bad short-term memory. And all I remember is that they're skeleton twins. Get it? OK, let's see the answer. The two TOs were wearing aprons. See for yourself. Ooh, shout out to these two amazing players. Your scores are so close, you're almost, almost twinsies. But don't go buying matching outfits just yet. We still have one more question. That's right. It's time for... The Big Q. Q, Q. Welcome to the Big Q. This one is worth triple the points. This is your last and best chance to boost those scores. Now, take a look at this gift from Disney Channel's Levin Maddie. We're going to ask you a question about it. Answer as soon as you think you know it. The Quizney Clock starts now. Why does Maddie's twin, Liv, have a mouth full of straws? Is it because they taste great? It's a fashion statement? She's breaking a record? Or it's a vocal exercise? Come on, make sure you get those answers in. Remember, the top 10 finishers each win $100. All right, All right it's the moment of truth. The current and final answer for triple the points is that Liv has the straws in her mouth because it's a vocal exercise. Oh, 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 we did it. We totally crushed another episode of Quizney. Now, go look in the mirror and congratulate yourself. Because if you don't have a real twin, a mirror's the next best thing. Congratulations to the players who finished in our top 10. You have all just won $100. Watch out for a one-time special winning message, which will appear in the next few minutes. Make sure you screenshot your secret code. You have until 4 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow to claim your prize. And uh, heads up, many Quizney players have the same username, but only the top 10 winners will receive the one-time special winning message. Thank you for playing, everybody. See you later. I, I keep my cool. If you want about to lose it, don't make me catch if it's some people. They don't want me to spin, because they know every song now.